What's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing some installations and some cosmetic work on the clips as you can see right here i starting it off i got a new front bumper new lip because this one has to go uh it's been cracked for a while and then the lip is like completely thrashed and cracked just of course speed bumps what i need to do today is get this prepped basically ready to go to the paint booth because uh, I'm gonna drop it off get a paint match of course and then so I could throw that lip on and we could get the front lip back on uh, basically right now I need to tape it up trim it to this one because of the uh, front mount core it won't fit directly it'll it'll be um, of course the front bumper won't fit so let, let me open this up I'm gonna throw you on the time lapse trim it We'll tape it, trim it, and then get it basically prepped. So let's see it. Okay, so just barely finished uh, cutting it. So right here is kind of the finished product of it looking like that so grooves if you're planning to cut the bumper just make sure to just sand them down make them look um, smooth and stuff like that this is for sure i did 100 percent better on this one than this one this was the first time i did it on this one and i did kind of a half-assed job on it uh this one is so much better because i used um a little sander where is it at it is right this the sander right here and then i use that cutter to trim it a lot more smooth I, I personally love the more open um, mouth of it. It makes it look way more aggressive. But um, it is getting pretty late, so I'll catch up to you tomorrow when we drop it off and then when we install the next thing. Peace. sponsor actually it's uh, max speeding so this company is actually for what it is honestly for budget wise I cannot complain I know a handful of people who are coilovers and this is a new series so it's the I believe the 24 adjustable dampening and um, I know that you can just get the basic ones that you could adjust but other than that like the quality actually I'm, I wouldn't bullshit anybody, but it they for sure were, when they first started. I, I heard a lot of a lot of stories, but the quality now at from where they were is is hands down way way better. The price wise, I you, hands down if you're not going to the track hard or anything, you just want to lower the car, be able to adjust height or just basic daily driving. I, I pre this for sure is one of the probably the best coils you can probably get for the price and if you guys want there's a co coupon code it's uh, DSM15 at max speeding rod so if you guys want to use it for sure hit it up but let's get into the video so Peace flipping out. around we have the base we already kind of like how I said from the previous video we already had kind of started this process I actually right now when you're doing coilovers a little quick heads up is to if you want well these cars are of course 20 plus years old and right now should be a good time to possibly replace bushings which i'm doing i'm replacing the upper control arms and so this one i already replaced but i and i already put it in but um now i'm uh like it, when you're doing this process when you're doing the coilover so i was on springs so these are going to come out which seeing doing this process actually i'm going to take the upper controller off just because i have so much more room to to play with but overall take doing the coilover suspension in in general is very very simple all you have to do i believe it's just uh three up top 
so three on top, of course, uh, the camera cut out a little bit, but um, yeah, so these three, and then if you wanna do the upper control arm, it's just these two right here, and then this one holding on, but, and then this, would, this mechanism will come out is very, very simple. You just have to hammer it from the top. And then for the bottom piece, it is going to be this, I don't know if you can see it. So it's gonna be that bolt with uh, this bolt going. So it's, it's gonna be a, this bolt with the nut on the other end. But other than that, I believe that's what, like seven in order to take it out. I already got this side taken out. I went a little bit ahead, but so this is what it looks like with the whole mechanism out and everything. So it gives it a lot more space and to, to play with. So I can literally just slide on the, the coil over and then put on the uh, upper control arm. So quick update. We, when taking off the, your old either strut tower or I mean not strut tower, um, strut, this little um, joint, I guess it comes off. It comes off, uh, it, it literally only one bolt connects to it. So um, with the new coilovers, this is gonna be my first kind of um, complaint is that with these, they're a little bit thicker, um, the old ones right there, but um, this one's just a little bit thicker. Um, yeah, I, I would assume a, a stock or just other version, but I, I had to use some like grease so that I greased around mechanism right here and then inside the mechanism. So I had to basically grab like a, a wrench or something, open it up and then stretch it out a tiny bit. So, and then have either somebody help you or have this held down. So you could literally just, just hammer it in and it, it makes it, well, with two people, it makes it a lot easier, but that would probably be my, my first complaint on it. But, um, after it's on, it has this little groove. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's right here to where the bolt goes through. So, but once it's on, it's on. It, it, it basically works how it's supposed to. So let me throw it on the car and then we can see where, how it sits. All right, so this is step two, finishing, putting it back in. As you can see, the upper control arm's still out. So all I had to do was just get this bolt in just to make sure it's secured but now it's time to the next step for me just to put this up control it's as you can see it's a new one because well the it was just at that point instead of replacing like the bushings on on um the old one is just basically the same price and less hassle you pay a little bit more but you get a whole new control arm so i did that i got both sides so front and um uh the left and right so let me throw this on and then I'll show you what kind of the finished product of, of well, having that in. Back at it, the third day uh, to finish kind of wrap up this video, but we're able to finally finish the Eclipse. The fitment came out absolutely perfect. It's, it's, all, it's what I've always wanted. The, uh, the springs are good, but nothing can match this, this fitment on, on the coilovers. It just looks amazing, it looks way more aggressive and really clears up that gap because I still had quite a bit of gap on, um, on those springs, but kind of this, this is what the look of it now. I, I need to basically roll the fenders right now uh, because they haven't been rolled and I know for sure they're gonna rub on those tires. Other than that, I'll probably run the system a little bit more stiff, adjust it a bit, uh, but this is honestly the finished product. I just mocked up, I need to finish, um, bolting that down, but I would highly recommend coilovers, go straight into coilovers, skip the springs. You could adjust the coilovers, whatever height you want, uh, adjust the stiffness, coilover set, just, it, it's honestly it, like no other coilover matches it on the market besides like high tier, like Fortunato or something like that, but those are five times the price. And well, I guess a lot of people are on a budget, but for, for what you honestly get for it. I know a ton of people that run these and have absolutely zero issues. For this one, like I said, is running them, zero issue. Again, like recording wise, I, I wanted to record a little bit more on the coilover install, but working on this and working on that from last night, it just takes up a lot of time. I'm for sure gonna do more 
videos on this. We, we barely fired it up after a year last night. If you have any questions, just let me know. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.